fighting tricks and stuff like that for years. Like the, the stuff I've developed over the years that worked for me, that might work for you guys. All right. So I, I, I don't want to get into too much of that. But when you're pushing this guy around, what I liked was your forward pressure. But don't get caught up in this. Don't get caught up in. When I say you're changing hands and staying on his head, doesn't mean it's a million miles an hour going like this. Boom, 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 boom. That's just you know, there's too much going on. All right. When I grab a hold of something, I, I want the guy to know it. I want the guy to know how strong I am. I want him to know that I'm grabbing him. I'm, I make him fight out of everything. So if I go left and right here, here, I'm going to hang on it and hang. I'm just going to hang on it as I move forward. And then I'm probably faking, I'm probably faking, but I'm still staying heavy, heavy, heavy faking. But I want to hang on everything a little bit longer, three, four seconds. If it's a risk, I'm hanging on it. Every, every time I grab the guy and pull him to the mat, this is taking a little bit out of him. It doesn't seem like it maybe when you're drilling, but you, you wrestle on the match, boy, this wears on you. It's here. If I just have my hand on him, I'm pushing it to the mat, pushing it away, pushing his head away. Pulling on them. everything's heavy, 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 and I stay in the sticky. But don't don't be don't be going all all over the place. Just stay heavy and then change. Always keep your eyes on the guy's hips, on the guy's knees, waiting for an opening to shoot. And we'll get into some fake stuff here in a minute. Alright, on three, one, two, three.